In all our training, we work using the clicker training philosophy. Uh, that means that we look for the right behavior to reward. And the great thing about rewarding behaviors is that then we get more of those great behaviors. So we get more behaviors to reward. So it's a loop of good things. So we reward the right behavior, but of course, at the same time, we have to prevent the dog from re rewarding itself. And if something happens that we really don't want to happen, we have to find a way to interrupt the dog without intimidating it. We emphasize the training part, because that is what's going to give us the best results. But we use the device train, prevent, interrupt when we plan our training. The second principle of the clicker training philosophy uh, is voluntarily offered behavior. We work together with the dog and capturing the behaviors that the dog offers. So first we teach the dog the behavior without the cue to voluntarily offer it and then we add the cue. This way we make sure that the dog participates in the training and enjoys the training just as much as we do. And the final thing that is important is to have a reward marker. It could be the clicker, uh, as in the name clicker training, uh, that's that little metal box that make a clicking sound. It could also be a word. For example, I could just say click or hut, as I say to my older dog. But something to tell the dog that that was just the behavior I was looking for and your reward will come soon. So the three foundations, reward the right behavior, voluntarily offered behavior and reward marker. On this page, you can read more about it and see some videos about how we do the training.